Well, hello everyone, my name is Dave with Varpex and today we are going to consider how you can increase your click-through rate. And for this, we are going to consider nine proven methods how to do so. So if you're not familiar with the term click-through rate or CTR in short, it is the ratio of the amounts of clicks that you're getting on a specific ad, a call to action button, a link, or even when you show up in the search results. So let's take our own website here. By the side, you can see here we have a call to action banner offering a specific discount. So this is up to you. Now you might click on it or you might not click on it. But if you decide to click on it, then this counts as you having clicked through. Hence the name, click through rate. Now there is a formula to calculate this. So it's basically how many people click through divided by the amount of impressions. So impression is how many times your ad was displayed and then multiplied by 100. So if you had, let's say 100 people clicked on your ad and then the ad was displayed to 2000 visitors, that gives you a CTR of 5%. Okay, so now let's discover those nine methods how to increase your click-through rate. The very first method is by improving your meta description. So a meta description is basically the title and the description of each result that Google displays. So just to give you an example here, let's say you run a takeaway restaurant and someone goes on Google and types in takeaways nearby. Now, as part of the results, you have ABC takeaway and XYZ takeaway that show up. Now, the first one in the description, they say we are located at the corner of 6th and 7th Avenue, North Hampton Road. Download our PDF menu online, best food in town, seated area and takeaway available. Now, the second one at XYZ takeaway, the description is open all week from noon till midnight. Large selection of fresh homemade food, order online, free delivery straight to your door within 20 minutes guaranteed. No long wait with XYZ Foods. Now tell me, which of those two would you click on? Now I'm sure that we can all agree that we would click on the XYZ one because it is so much more compelling. So by making sure that you have a persuasive title and description, you will definitely increase your click-through rate. Our next method now is by using permalinks that are descriptive. So if we go back to our example here. So ABC takeaway here in the URL, you can see it says ABC 6 North Anthem Road. So that doesn't say much, does it? Whereas XYZ takeaway in the URL, they have fresh food delivered to your door. So this is very explicit, not only for users, for humans, but also for SEO purposes. Now, also in line with this, our next method is to make sure that you use long tail keywords. So just to give you an example here, if you were to look for a simple word like this, like laptops, and then run a search, as you can see, we are presented with 4.6 billion search results, which is astronomical. Now, if we look for something else more like laptops with long life battery, and now, as you can see, we only have 150 million results to compete against, which increase your chances of getting found and obviously will increase your click-through rate as well. And our next method is to make sure that you use breadcrumb as navigation tool on your website. So let's go to our own website, varpex.com. Let's open the blog section. Let's open a category and let's open an article, one of them, okay? And as you can see right here on top, we have this broken down into different easy to click links. So basically I could go back to the main category here, WordPress, and as you can see, they're all there again. I could click on another one and there you go. So as you can see, it's very easy for me to navigate and know exactly where I am on the website. Okay, next is something that's quite often missed and yet so important is to make sure that you tell your visitors who you are, what is it that you do, what you have to offer, and also what problems you solve. So if we go back to our homepage here, as you can see, immediately from the hero section, we address all these points. We tell the visitors that we are a hosting company that performs the way you need it to be. We offer 24-7 expert support, free backup, migrations and SSL in a direct call to action right here. So again, it is very important to make sure that you address who you are, what you're offering and what problems you can solve for your customers. Okay, next is to make sure that your website is loading fast because let's face it, if a website is taking too long to load, most visitors will leave even before it displays. And to help your website load fast, you can optimize the images. You can use a caching plugin as well. But in the end, it all comes down to the hosting that you're using. 
So if you're using Vorpex, for instance, you can choose among different plans. So you can have cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, or full-blown managed server. But regardless of the plan that you select, you will always experience optimal performances. Okay, so next we're going to have two methods at once. So when you design your landing page, make sure that your paragraphs are not too long, that your text and content is not too long. You break this down with an image in the middle, just like this. As you can see, you can have a bit of text and then an image again. It's just easy on the eye and much easier to read. Now also make sure that you always have a call to action. So as you can see here, we have one bang on in the middle. And by inserting call to actions like this throughout your page, you will increase your click through rate. Now, obviously, you don't want to overdo it. A good rule of thumb is maybe two or three per page. And finally, our last tip is by using Google Analytics, which is the most trusted website tracking tool. And the best part, it's free. And thanks to Google Analytics, you can find out which pages your visitors clicked on, where they're coming from, and also if they clicked on any of your call to action button. Now, in addition to this, you can also check the heat map of your pages. So this is what the heat map looks like, and it will track the position of your visitor's mouse cursor. So that way you'll be able to find out where your visitors click the most. So there you go, guys. That's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. And if so, don't forget to hit the like button and share this with all of your friends. And also feel free to subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want to learn more, you can also read more of these practical tips on our blog. And as always, we'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.